Hey there, how's it going? Today I want to show you my favorite ways I use MD files in my React applications. A lot of people think that you just use it for blogs and stuff like that, but you can actually inject dynamic content as well in your application straight from the database. So as some of you might know, I am currently rebuilding my course platform developed by Ed and what I really wanted to do for each course page to display basically what you want to learn and maybe a list of all the tech stack. And the way I did that, as you can see here, we have the chapter outlines, we have like a video preview, but down here, as you can see what we will learn and what we will build, this is all dynamic uh, using Markdown. So if I wanna update this, I can just head over to this form I have prepared here and I can add a code for example here. So let's do something like const payment is equal to, I don't know, new stripe whatever right there we go so let's save this and update it and see what we have so course has been updated and if we refresh here look at that it dynamically updates on your front end okay so let's see how we can do this so let's say here in the what we will learn section we want to add the mdx okay so if we look in the code it's just a page dsx nothing going too crazy here we have a re revalidate generate static params here to generate the static pages and down here we have stuff about the course i'm fetching the course up here get course and here in the what we will learn so right down here below i want to output uh, the md now let me just show you in my database, I already saved uh, the MD text basically, right? It's just text. So if I do a console log and I do course dot learn MD and we display this out on the screen. Now, how do you add this in your database? You can use something simple like react hook form or something. All I really have is just like a text area where I pasted this in. Now be aware uh, if this is coming from a host that you're not trusting, this can be dangerous because the MD does compile down to JavaScript and it's gonna run on the server. So just be careful. Now, in my case, this is I'm all controlled by this. I, I'm the only one that has admin rights to create the post here. Uh, so unless they can to my database, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now that we have the MD text in the database, we can install this package called Next MDX Remote. And the wonderful thing is that this works on RSC components as well. So you can straight up just fetch the data, pass it into MDX remote, and it will work like magic. So let me show you how that is done. So here at the top of the file, I'm gonna import MDX remote. And what you wanna make sure here is that you have the RSC, all right? That's gonna make sure that this is gonna work uh, in your app, in your, sorry, page DSX. Okay, so now that we have this MDX, we can take it. Let's head down here to the enroll now. And then here, what we need to do is pass down the source. So that's actually gonna be your MD. So I'm gonna do source build MD. And one more thing we can pass down here is something called components. So that allows you to style your components. Uh, and the wonderful thing is it's gonna work with Tailwind as well uh, by default, which is fantastic. So let's do that. Let's do learn MD. I think I have uh, LI tags here so we can style that up easier. So there we go. I'm gonna set this equal to an object and in this object, I'm gonna have my UL or LI or whatever you wanna select. So let's just do UL for now. I'm gonna say props here. So this is per documentation. I'm not sure what the, the type here is. I couldn't find it. If any of you know, I'd really appreciate that. But other than that, then you can just create your UL here and then pass down whatever is in the props children. All right, that's the actual MD that's gonna be passed down there. And then here you can just add your custom Tailwind style. So I can do a space Y of four like that and hit save. Um, and then we can pass this down into that component. So let's go to, where is it? Where is it here? You can just say components and I'm gonna say MD learn style like that. So let's have a look now. If we have a look, look at that. We got the nice spacing added to our content. How cool is that? Uh, we can do the same for the li if we want so let's just duplicate this i'm gonna add a comma here at the top i just grab the li and let's say we want to do what let's say the text is going to be medium size and text primary just to show you that this works and hit save and look at that there we go you probably don't want that as primary so let's just <laughs> let's just take it back but we'll keep the text medium now, the other way we can use MD files is use MD files as pages in our Next.js application. So for that, what we can do is install a couple of commands here. It's gonna be next MDX. There's gonna be an MDX.js loader. 
MDXJS React and the types for MDX. God bless the, re the JavaScript ecosystem. I love it. All right, let's install all this shit. Once this is installing, what we can do is head over to our config file because we need to hook up uh, the markdown here. So let's go here. And what I'll do is say page extensions. And here we can essentially add, well, we can add JS and TSX and all of that stuff. But I also want to make sure I add MD and MDX in here. So make sure that's configured. And then the next thing we want to do is add a with MDX extension like that with MDX and rather than exporting the uh, next config here instead we'll say with MDX and just wrap this up like that now here again if you want to have any other plugins or something like that you can just add it here now there's one more thing we need to do is in our base uh, root root of our application we need to create a component called MDX component dot TSX and the way this is looking is we just need to import the types here from MDX components like that. I'm just pass that down as the type and that's it. All right. So that now that that's configured there, what we can do is let's head over here to block, for example, and create a new file. Now with our page MDX here ready to go. So as you can see, it lives there in the MDX page. If I refresh, as you can see, it works. We got the font bold and everything, but we don't get the styling for the headers and everything else. So how can we add that? Well, we can go back here to the MDX components and similar to how we had it in the uh, remote MDX, we can just pass them down as props like that. So I can add a H1 here, an LI, whatever, and then style it up however I want. So let's say I want to add a font size of 64 pixels like that. And now if we check again, as you can see, that's updated now. Lovely. So there we go. That's a couple of easy ways that you can work with MD files in React slash Next.js. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to be doing more content. I should just make content. I don't know why sometimes I overthink and be like, I need to make the biggest video ever. But most of the time, everyone's just yapping on YouTube anyway. So I should just yap. <laughs>